I'm Dom Kane and today I'm going to take a look at Cable Guy's Volume Shaper for PluginBoutique.com. Uh, it's a handy little tool for things like sidechain effects but it can be used for all sorts of creative things too. So let's take a look and I'll show you what it can do. I'll go through the more common sidechain technique in a moment but I wanted to start off by showing you how this tool can also become a really creative one by automating wave shapes on extended sounds. So I've set up some chords here and they sound like this. Now I've automated some of the wave shapes within the plugin to change over time, so it sounds like this. So I've set up the start of a production session here with some drums and a bass line and at the end of each 8 bar phrase I've taken the drums out like this. Now let's say I wanted the bass line to be side-chained against the kicks. Well, in this case, at the end of each 8-bar phrase, there aren't any kicks available to side-chain. So that's where the volume shaper comes in handy. I'll load up an instance on the bass line channel here. And as you can see, there are 10 different page numbers down the left-hand side. So you can store 10 different patterns and shapes if you want. And then on the right-hand side is the LFO unit where you can select which pattern or page is being used in the LFO. So let's load up page 9 and set the LFO to page 9 to here. Now if I play a bit of the baseline soloed, you can see the waveform as a graphic on the VST like this. There are a few controls underneath to change this graphic, uh, to switch it to the in, out, left or right channels. And next to those are a few more controls for changing the colour scheme and the type of wave you want. Now finally, I've set up a wave on page 1 that sounds like a sidechain effect. So I'll just set the LFO to use that for now, and then I'll unsolo the bass line and play the full phrase again. <laughs> As you can hear, even though the kicks stop at the end of the 8-bar phrase, the sidechain carries on regardless. Finally, there are more controls to the right here, to change the tempo of the LFO to sync with your host or not, and then underneath are more controls to assign to MIDI functions for when you want to automate the device. So that's the basics of Volume Shaper from Cable Guys. It's a great little tool for producers and it's available for Mac and PC via PluginBoutique.com now. Cheers, see you soon.